in, uh, up at Plainfield. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, we, there was somebody at the university who was doing brain mapping studies on mustelids. So they were offering rewards for various mustelids, certain weasels, and a badger was on the list, and I forget what all else. I a fat chance of getting a badger. I've never seen one. Yeah. And then I did see one when we were trapping, in the winter, trapping uh, prairie chickens. There was a badger in the, where the funnel traps were for the chickens. So I jumped out and ran, and the snow was pretty deep, and it had a burrow into the snow. And... Uh, I went and got a shovel, and I dug a little ways, and I thought, this is hopeless. <laughs> but then a month later, doing prairie chicken count, and it was a warm, it started out cold, but it was a warm, sunny, it turned into a warm, sunny morning. So I took my parka off. I'm going merrily along, and here's a badger on the on the opposite shoulder. So I headed for the badger, mm -hmm. and that thing didn't react at all. They have very poor senses, I think, especially eyesight. Didn't react at all until I was about my van was about six feet from him, and then instead of fleeing. He jumped up at the van, mouth open. Really? <laughs> yeah. And then turned and ran. <laughs> and I had just pulled the handbrake and jumped out while the van was still going. Chased after it, and I figured, well, this chase will last until the badger turns on me. <laughs> well, I started gaining on it. And there was a ditch bank, and we were paralleling the ditch bank, and I'm just about caught up with the badger when I see a hole in the ditch bank. And it got to the hole, hole just as I caught up with it. <coughs> and in it went, and I stepped on its tail. Oh. And then um, I said to myself, Self, now what do you do? He said that very quietly, though, because nobody else was listening. Right. <laughs> I don't remember. Well, I said it quietly so the badger wouldn't hear, so it would, wouldn't realize that I had doubts about this. <laughs> so I started, I grabbed a handful of fur on the rump, and I wiggled, wiggled from side to side and pulled. I figured I'd never get him out, and I started gaining on him. I don't want to go that far. <laughs> so I grabbed all the fur I could get, and I pulled him out. And, oh, boy, <laughs> you should have heard that critter. <laughs> Gnarling and all kinds of vicious sounds. But I had control. And I walked back to the van. I thought, now what do I do? I knew I had a... First I thought I had an ambulance, and the, the front was partitioned off. Uh-huh. So I thought I could just release him in the back. Mm -hmm. But I figured he'd probably tear everything apart. But I had a cage in the back with bait birds in it. And I was willing to release all of my bait birds, except for one singer starling that I'd grown, I'd grown quite accustomed to. <coughs> and he'd been with me so long. He knew how to evade my hand when I tried to catch him in the cage. And that was when I would have two free hands. <laughs> well, anyway, I pinned the badger up against the side of the van and was able to let go with one hand, and he couldn't do anything because everything was smooth. I reached over and undid the tailgate and let it down, and then I grabbed a hold again, and I brought him onto the tailgate, which was linoleum, pinned him down there, and again, he couldn't do anything. So then I, with one hand, I opened up the cage, 
where you get <coughs> gain access to it. And on about the second or third grab, I got my Singer Starling. So then I had a badger in one hand <laughs> and a starling in the other, and I opened the, the main door and let everything else go. And then with my starling in one hand and the badger in the other, I aimed him into the open door, counted to three, and shoved in it and slammed the door. <laughs> so he was in the cage. Mm -hmm. And then where was the starling? Did you hold it? And then the starling I just put in, put in a bait bag, huh. kept him. Got back to Hammerstrom's and I, they had a 50, there was a $50 price on his head. Mm -hmm. So I waltzed in and I said, oh, I caught a badger. Yeah, right. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so they had to come out and see it before they were convinced. Uh -huh. Very cool. And it took three or four of us to get it from the bait cage into a milk can. And then we wired the lid on the milk can and put it on a Greyhound bus and sent it down to Madison. <laughs> <laughs> Do not open before. <laughs> and instead of collecting 50, I got 70 bucks because when it got there, there were three of them in there. Oh, no. <laughs> Wow. Oh, Which accounts for why I was able to run her down. Mm -hmm. <laughs>